Welcome to your English 102 Library Pop-Up Workshop on Stakeholders. I'm Kristen Woodward, the Teaching and Learning Librarian here at the UWM Libraries. Today we'll build upon the work you did in the Hayden McNeil module on Stakeholders. So if you haven't completed that module yet, now is a good time to go back and do it. Then come meet me here to connect it to your project. In this workshop, we'll use the concept of stakeholders to identify potential sources of information and perspectives on your issue and potential audiences you could address. First, let's review the stakeholders concept by imagining we're working on the issue of invasive species in Lake Michigan. Let's brainstorm who is affected by the issue of invasive species in Lake Michigan and what each stakeholder group's interests or concerns are. You should come up with at least five stakeholder groups. Who affects this issue or who is affected by it? As an example, I'll demonstrate this process thinking of scientists who study freshwater aquatic life as our stakeholder. What other stakeholder groups come to mind for you? All these stakeholder groups, while concerned about the same issue, also have more specific roles they play. I think scientists who study freshwater aquatic life are concerned about the loss of habitat for native species or the biology and reproduction of native or invasive species. What are the interests or concerns of the other stakeholders you listed? Now, let's layer in something that wasn't in the Hayden McNeil module. Thinking about which subject areas each stakeholder group works in, or which subject areas have researchers who might represent that stakeholder group's concerns. Including the perspective of multiple stakeholders is the best way to remix other people's ideas. This will also eventually help us to find research by experts for experts, which might appeal to certain audiences or lend credibility to our work. These are some potential subject areas. Each one links to the search tools UWM pays for that are helpful for doing research in that subject area. I'm guessing that aquatic scientists are publishing their research in the subject areas of biological sciences and freshwater sciences. Which subject areas do you think your other stakeholders work in or have researchers representing their common concerns? Now, let's think about what these stakeholders create that could help us discover their perspectives in their own words. This will help us make sure we accurately represent their values and opinions and don't limit ourselves to what we already believe or the perspectives of academics and researchers. I 
I think scientists are probably creating scholarly articles and books. What genres or source types do the stakeholders you thought of create? These could be from any point on the information cycle. Photos, social media posts, news stories, pamphlets, websites. Finally, let's brainstorm where we think we'll find these sources created by our stakeholders. I could find scholarly articles in books using Search at UW on the library's homepage or using one of the biological sciences or freshwater sciences tools from the library's databases by subject page. Now it's time to do the same for the issue or problem you're focusing on. List your stakeholders, their interests or concerns, subject areas they might work in or that might represent their concerns, genres they create, and where you could access the genres they create. You're making your plan for how you will incorporate stakeholder perspectives and select sources that appeal to a specific audience of your choosing. If you get stuck, use Ask a Librarian. Next up, we'll use the work you did thinking of stakeholders and their concerns to develop a strategy for finding scholarly research related to the problem you're focusing on. Best Bets databases are chosen by subject specialist librarians as the most likely places to find information in that subject. Different tools are used for different purposes, so you may have to try a few databases out before you find the type of information you need. Looking at these best bets based on their titles, I think Earth, Atmospheric, and Aquatic Science Database sounds like it's going to help me focus on that freshwater science perspective most specifically. I'll start by picking search terms using the words that describe the issue I'm focusing on, invasive species Lake Michigan. As I review my results, I notice some related keywords I'm going to make note of that I think I should use in future searches like ecosystem, population, round groby. I like the look of the result number 16, impacts of recent invasive species on nearshore fishes. It's published by Great Lakes Fishery Commission. I'm also noticing some results about plants that grow near Lake Michigan, like number four, and number 11 about um, baby's breath in the sand dunes. So I'm going to adjust my search by adding a keyword from the concerns and interests column of my chart. With the addition of the word habitat, I'm seeing more results about the habitats in Lake Michigan and its watershed, hatcheries and fisheries. 
I'm going to review more information about these results because I think they would appeal to my audience of people who enjoy fishing. To recap what we've learned today, research is best when it includes the perspectives of multiple stakeholders. There are researchers and professors who write about stakeholders who cannot publish in academic journals. The databases by subject page is a great way to access the source types written by stakeholders in specific subject areas. Don't eliminate a search result because the database doesn't have full text access. Um, go ahead and watch this short video on how to link to or request full text.